All right, let's check in with Rob Mayetta right now and see exactly what is in the immediate forecast. A lot of people on edge tonight, Rob. Yeah, we're watching the uh, conditions there very closely. In fact, the strongest winds we're seeing right now, Sonoma County and Napa County, more on that in a moment. The red flag warning uh, around the Bay Area for most locations until about 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Then we'll see for the north and east Bay Hills that actually has been extended into Tuesday. Gusty wind at times, especially in the North Bay, where we could see power and tree impacts and some of those burn scar zones, including the CZ. You fire there in the Santa Cruz Mountains as the winds pick up later tonight. But yeah, peak wind gusts so far 84 miles per hour. Mount St. Helena, that is where we're seeing some of the strongest wind gusts right now. And humidity numbers Santa Rosa, Napa, and Livermore into the single digits. So as we head towards tomorrow morning, it will be a gusty start. More wind to start the day with 40s and 50s as we get the morning started. And then hazy skies might see smoke from fires burning in the northern end of the Sacramento Valley, spilling back to the Bay Area. So you might notice the haze in the skies with temperatures in the 70s for tomorrow. So now the hour by hour outlook in terms of the strongest winds we're expecting. Notice a time stamp 2 a.m. to just about sunrise for the North Bay. Most of the stronger gusts here in purple above 45 miles per hour around the hilltops. And by 5 o'clock, we should see those wind speeds ease up across the valleys. Now notice the Santa Cruz Mountains 4 a.m. Should be the time frame when we begin to see the stronger winds getting down towards the coastline. And you see how inland areas by 9 o'clock and especially by 5 in the afternoon, wind speeds do lessen up a bit. Still locally gusty around the Diablo range. So here is the wind machine that we're seeing now. Classic offshore wind event, cold, dry air spilling westward across California. That low starts to move out. That will ease up the wind speeds around the Bay Area. And as we head towards Halloween next weekend, no signs of rain, a little bit warmer, but thank goodness, no signs of any strong gusty winds. So San Francisco at times into the wind before sunrise tomorrow, but notice the wind speeds backing off as we head towards the middle part of the week. Numbers rebounding as we head towards next weekend. And for the valleys, we do think, and the mountains, still gusty, high fire danger into Tuesday morning for the north and east Bay Hills, then less wind. Chilly temperatures, North Bay Valleys could see some 30s and 40s here. Then as we head towards next weekend, of course, it's Halloween. Temperatures starting to climb on up. A little bit of good news for you. Time change next weekend, which means we get the extra hour of sleep next Sunday. Something to look forward to after the fire danger and high winds we're seeing into Tuesday morning. I was going to say, finally, some good news. <laughs> Some good to, news, it Rob, that, you know, it has nothing to do with the weather, but. But what's interesting is Rob is here in the studio for the first time since, like, March. He because he was concerned there was going to be a power outage yeah. at his house. We and had the, some very gusty winds out there, so he made the decision, socially distant from my chroma key wall, to come in. That's a <laughs> good employee right there. That is a star employee. He's the best. He's All right, best. thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back 